the subject of millennial collectors, a series of the U.S. Trust released their annual wealth and worth survey, which included the graphics of millennial collectors' behavior in America. Now, the research found two-thirds of the demographic subject believe that the real value of fine art is not its intrinsic value, rather just as riskless asset is expected to increase in value. Now, art news. Art news describes its behavior as faulty. But what do you think about that? Well, I think, um, well, firstly, millennial collectors, that there are, there are young people who are beginning to collect. Um, and I think that their, their habits uh, also reflect the way in which they communicate. So that they're looking at, at um, not just art from the places that they, they're based in, that they travel to, to, to see things. And so that they're collecting very broadly, they're collecting internationally. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a completely different situation um, maybe from uh, pre previous generations. <clears throat> well, I mean, because the, the ability to travel and the, the ability to consume and research on, on a smartphone means that people can be very um, familiar of, uh, and, and knowledgeable about, about the things that they're, things that they're looking at. So that, um, that can only be a, a good thing in the sense that people are, are looking, looking very broadly. But this idea of intrinsic value versus some kind of monet monetary value already plays into a, um, this idea that art has some um, function outside of the outside of the 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 artist the role of the artist. So I think we always need to come back to well, what is it that art does in society? You know, uh, which you call the, that intrinsic value. I mean, what is that? What is that experience of of looking at a, at a painting that is pleasurable, but that that might, that is purely personal? I mean, it's also like reading a book. I mean, the, the relationship that that you have that, as a reader to the to the words is 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 totally per, is totally personal. Right, so let's say there's a new collector from Indonesia that comes right at you. Yep. And you Sir, I want to be a collector right now. So what would you suggest here? Well, first? well, firstly, the role of the museum is is to open people's minds, uh, open people's eyes. We don't give advice. Um, it's it's the it is it's it's not really what a, what a museum does. I mean, like if you could. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, what what I would do is I would I would um, take that person and say, let's go let's go and have a look at this exhibition. You know, let's 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 see what's going on on, on in this. Let's. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of, of uh, let's try and get an understanding of what's going on in the mind of, mind of the artist. Um, I think what your I think more generally, the point is that there are good collectors and there are great collectors, and those great collectors aren't just buying things because it has some type of some type of it's an appreciable asset. I mean, it's that's kind of boring. I mean, it's it's a very it's a it's a very um, it's also a very cynical way of looking at looking at at the um, the creativity of of our of our artist community. I mean, that they're not making artwork in order to to create um, uh, things that will increase in value. That they're, they're they're making artworks because that they have have some burning question or some burning issue that they want to articulate and they, and they want other people to, to talk back to them. So I think that, I mean, there are all kinds of collectors. People can collect from, uh, with, with, with very uh, f uh, financial strategic um, goals in mind, but that's not necessarily going to make them a great collector. So uh, what's your take on the millennial collectors of Indonesia? Well, I think um, millennial collectors, um, as I said before, that they're, that they're well researched, you know, that they're looking at things all the time and uh, that, they're, that they're looking at things across different geographies as well. So I think um, uh, it'll, it'll be exciting to see how, how that this generation of, of people um, continue to, to appreciate art in, in as, they, as they get older and how that they might uh, be able to impact the next generations of people to, to appreciate art. What do you think about the Cuban art scene in Indonesia? You know, I think uh, Indonesia has a really strong art scene, and it, it, it always has. And one of the things about this exhibition, we can see the relationship between artists and those broader issues that are going on in society. So, so it's right from the right from the from the um, from the period of independence right through to now that the artists have play a very important role in in society. And you know, Indonesia right now. I mean, I know that that uh, our peers around the world 
I'm very interested in, in, in under, trying to understand what's going on, on here. So it, it has a very, very uh, vibrant future in terms of being able to, uh, Indonesia being able to participate on that broader, glo on that global uh, scale in the future. But, but at the same time, I think that there are probably two challenges for the, for the future. One is around education. You know, how do we, how do we continue, how, how, do we, how do we strengthen art education in, um, in Indonesia? And that's not just a, uh, a role for educators, it's actually a, a role for society. If we, if we think that art has some role to play in being creative and understanding our, our cultural histories is important, well, we need to strengthen um, education. And then the other thing that I think is, uh, is, will be a challenge for the future for, for Indonesia is how do we continue to support our artists? You know, how do we? What, what are the what are the um, opportunities that will continue to that will continue allow an artist to continue to to be creative and to be provocative and to, to help change and influence the the the, the our, our future society? And that that is also not just the role of the museum. It's not just the role for the art community. It's actually the the, the role for um, our society. We need we need. Uh, uh, people to be more receptive to uh, these art experiences and to encourage art appreciation.